determine if the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So to do that, I'm going to change these equations into y equals mx plus b. The reason is, is I need to know what the slope of those lines are. That will tell me whether they're parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's go to the first one. 2x minus 3y equals 9. I want to get y by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equal sign. So I get negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 9. I need to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide each part by negative 3. So I will get y equals, now a negative divided by a negative is a positive, 2 thirds x, and 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. So 2 thirds is the slope of that line. So let's find the slope of the second line. 6y minus 4x equals 1. Once again, I need to get y by itself. So I'm going to add 4x to both sides of the equal sign. So I get 6y equals 4x plus 1. To get y by itself, I need to divide by 6. Remember, you divide each part by 6. So y equals 4 sixths x plus 1 sixth. Now 4 sixths reduces to 2 thirds. So I have y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 sixth. So the slope of the second line is also 2 thirds. Since they're the same, those are parallel lines. Now remember, it doesn't matter what their y-intercept is. The only thing we look at is the slope of the lines.